Well, I called him Goldie. And I called him Schwartzy. Dockers is cool. Confident. Confident. Dockers is manly. Dockers was why my mom and dad were proud of me. Dockers is charismatic. Innovative. Dockers is timeless. Timeless. Clever. Clever. Dockers is always relevant. Dockers. <laughs> Dockers is why they keep inviting me to come talk to business schools. Dockers is the best and most loved khaki brand, khaki brand in the world. Dockers is khaki. I came to Levi Strauss and Company in 1978 as director of marketing for Levi's menswear division. I was selected as vice president of merchandising for the Dockers brand. We had many depressed days prior to Dockers, but once Dockers hit, I mean, we kept bumping our heads on the ceiling. It looked we, like you hit yours pretty I hard. I know. <laughs> if I wasn't working in menswear, I might have been a, a copywriter. It's difficult for me to say what I would be doing. If you didn't work for Dockers, you could have been a rabbi. <laughs> you were my rabbi at Levi's a lot. Yeah. In 1983 or 84, I was vice president and general manager of the David Hunter brand. It was a small startup business Levi was trying to develop. At that time, I hired a young designer who was challenged with the concept of bringing forth a casual pant for our David Hunter line. A couple days later, Joyce came back to me with a twill pant, and I thought, so what's the big deal? First of all, the fabric was 100% cotton and garment washed. Secondly, it was constructed like a pair of jeans would be constructed. When I asked Joyce, why did you make it like a pair of jeans? We're in the pants business. She said, this is Levi's, isn't it? <laughs> At that point, I thought, yes, it is Levi's. And this just might be something that we could get excited about. The aging baby boomer had a strong emotional connection to the Levi's brand. We knew these guys wanted all of the things that the jean offered, but they wanted to have a pant that could be worn to the movies, to Thanksgiving with your mother-in-law, and yet uh, had the kind of construction that gave them all day comfort. Now here's where the story gets interesting. There was a merchandise manager in Levi's menswear named Sue Kilgore. She walked into my office holding a pair of khaki pants. And she gave me a little bit of the history. It had started out in Argentina called Levi's Docker Pants. So I looked at the pant and I said, this is a lot like the David Hunter casual pant. We should try this in Levi's menswear. We rushed to the marketplace in a few department stores. They flew off the shelves. Unfortunately, they flew back in returns because the pant didn't fit. So what we had was a wonderful, comfortable David Hunter casual pant that fit beautifully, but didn't have a Levi's brand. And we had a Dockers pant that didn't fit. So the obvious thing to do would be to take the David Hunter line of casual pants and put the Dockers packaging on the product. You got it. Wow. By our fourth season, when we went to Market Week in New York City, the open to buy at department stores was open as wide as we could provide product. One of the senior managers of our company came up to me and said, you guys are out of control. <laughs> what? Because you guys are taking orders the size of what the jeans division takes in denim. And I said, Billy, is that bad? And with our sales volume, we could have been a standalone Fortune 500 company. That was something that none of, us, none of us expected to happen. Retailers would come up to me and say, I'm willing to take the chance. Just get me more Dockers. When we had our initial success with Dockers in the first season, I went to Mike Kelker, the senior creative person at Foot Conan Belding, the genius behind many, many of the Levi's jeans commercials that were award-winning. And I said to Mike, this is what this commercial has to do. It has to show people that Dockers brand from Levi's is not a jean. The second is that Dockers are soft, comfortable, cotton, and versatile. And the third is that we wanted an emotional connection 
to what was happening on the screen. Mike sat down in my office and said, we don't have a storyboard and we don't have a script for this commercial. This is what I propose we do. We get a half a dozen guys. We tell them, just talk. And he said, well, they're not just going to be talking. They're going to be wearing dockers. And I said, Mike, I'm betting my career on this. He said, well, I think this is going to work. Trust me. And I said, OK, let's see what happens. She was a redhead about five foot six inches tall. And all of a sudden, this thing starts spinning. And Money. it's going round. And round. No. Money's no object. What are we going to do with our lives? Well, now? basketball. Yeah. Levi's 100% cotton dockers. If you're not wearing dockers, you're just wearing pants. And I'm still paying the loans. You got all the money in the world. I'd like to at least be your pool man. <laughs> the guys said, God, those guys are just like me. I've got buddies like that. We've had those conversations. They're so real. The women said, that's my Billy. Or, I wish my Tommy had friends like that. They can talk to each other. People felt a warm and comfortable feeling with the, the people who they saw on the screen with what they said and with what they were wearing. They turned off the TV set, they got in their car, and they went down to the department store and they bought Dockers. The ads were so culturally relevant. They became literally a part of the fabric of Americana. The 10 markets that we showed commercials in, when we tracked the sales in those markets, versus the rest of the country, it was like night and day. You could say that we sold 20 times more units mm -hmm. uh, at retail in the 10 markets than we sold in the rest of the country. It worked and paid big dividends for us. Amen. Amen. <laughs> the reason the Dockers campaign in 1986 was successful is that we were able to find the truth of the man between the age of 25 and 49. We are also telling the truth today. There is no stronger bond than a reaffirmation of what people know and feel about themselves. That's what the original Dockers campaign did. The Wear the Pants campaign brings the Dockers advertising campaign full circle. It's all about the product. It's rooted in the pants. We're also going back to the fundamental essential logo that graced the product from the very beginning, the wings and anchor, which is so emblematic of longshoremen and dock workers and their masculinity. The Wear the Pants campaign once again positions dockers as the pants in which men can stand up and be men again.